right so what we'll do this is a uh, the engine uh, the driver's side engine compartment so we'll start the belts here we want to make sure both belts and strokes equipped with two belts we want to make sure they're both properly mount secure they're not cracked ripped or frayed that's a CRF if you want to use that as a memory aid so right here we've got our oil dipstick so to check the oil in this vehicle we're going to pull the dipstick out wipe it clean stick it back in for a couple seconds pull the dipstick back out make sure our oil is above the ad line but if the oil was below the ad line that's where we would add more oil so we got to make sure we show where we would add oil from there i'm going to come over here to my airlines i want to make sure all, all my airlines you know just not these but all the airlines i can see they're all properly mount secure not cut chased spliced worn or damaged make sure they're not rubbing against anything and since they're airlines i want to listen for air leaks okay from there I'm going to go to my electrical wiring. Not just this wiring, but just any kind of wiring I can see. I'm going to make sure all the wiring I can see, it's all properly mounted secure, not cut, chafed, spliced, worn, or damaged. Make sure all my connections are tight. I'm also going to look that the wiring is not rubbing against anything and that no wires, uh, there's no bare wires showing through the uh, insulation. You know, you know, start a fire or whatever. All right, so I've got my, uh, I got my belts, got my dipstick, airlines, wiring. So now I'm going to come over here to my uh, my gear-driven air compressor. That's a gear-driven air compressor. We say gear-driven air compressor just to help people remember that it's gear-driven. So a lot of people say, hey, this is my air compressor. It's probably mouse secure, not crack my broken and damaged. It's gear-driven. But if we say gear-driven air compressor, it's just a little memory aid. If it works for you, use it. Uh, we're also going to listen that it's not leaking, so you're going to listen for leaks on that. Remember, not, not the airlines coming out, we're just listening to the air compressor. Because the airlines, that's, that's going to be a separate part. Alright, going from there, we've got our gear-driven power steering pump. We want to make sure it's properly mouse secure, not crap, bent, broken, or damaged. And we're also going to check that it's not leaking. Coming off the power steering pump, I've got uh, hydraulic hoses or power steering hoses. Want to make sure they're probably mouse secure, not cut, chafed, spliced, worn, or damaged, and I'm going to check that they're not leaking as well. Now, before I move up to my reservoir here, I've got my frame. All right, so we got our longitudinal members, cross members, box, and floor. Now, granted, I can't see a box and floor. I can't even see a cross member, but they're testing me and not the truck. So you got to think about it that way. So I got my longitudinal members, cross members, box, and floor. That's the four parts. And of those four parts, I'm going to be checking for cracks, holes, broken welds, and damage. So four things we're checking for. You know, if it helps you, use your fingers to count it down. I mean, you can look cool after you have a CDL. All right, so now I'm going to come over here to my uh, power steering reservoir. I want to make sure it's properly mount secure, not cracked and broken or damaged. Since it's a reservoir, we want to make sure it's not leaking as well. Now, this reservoir in this truck right here, it's got a sight glass. So I can visually see them above the ad line. But uh, if I were below the ad line, I would add more power steering fluid there. Now coming off of that, we're gonna go to our steering components. That's our steering wheel, our steering shaft, and our power steering gearbox. Now if I were taking my test at this time, I would say all these components I just named are all probably mouse secure, not crap, been broken or damaged. My power steering gearbox is not leaking. All right, from there I'd say, you know, I would just name three parts at a time, but just to save time, I'm gonna name them all. So I got my steering wheel, my steering shaft, my gearbox, equipment arm, drag link, our steering knuckle, that's the big part right here, and inside the steering knuckle is a spindle, then over here behind that here is my, there's a castle nut sitting there, that's my steering arm, and there's my tie rod. So when you're taking your test, you want to do probably max three three parts at a time. So you're going to say they're all probably mouse secure, not crap being broken or damaged, and I'm going to check for any loose or missing nuts, bolts, cotter keys, that's five words, loose, missing, nuts, bolts, cotter keys. Power steering gearbox is not leaking. Now right here, I'm gonna come over here to my joints and sockets. These are my joints and sockets right here, and I wanna make sure they're not loose or worn. One way I can you know, check to see if they're loose or worn is by checking that I don't have no more than 10 degrees of play on a 20 inch wheel. All right, so when you, when you get about right here, you might wanna stop for a second, just kinda of review, because it's a lot. Okay, I got my, uh, I got my, uh, power steering gearbox isn't leaking. You know, just, just kinda of review to yourself. So coming from there, I'm going to go to my uh, suspension. Now you want to say what kind of suspension you have. Now this truck, as you can see, that's a leaf spring suspension. So we would want to tell the examiner it's a leaf spring suspension. So I got my front leaf spring hanger, and I'd say my rear leaf spring hanger. You can do both of those at the same time, but 
get a feel for your from your examiner. They might only want you to do one at a time. But here we're going to do both the front and rear leaf spring hanger. They're both probably mount secure, not cracking or broken or damaged. So right behind this bolt here, I've got my leaf spring hanger bushing, what the leaf spring sits on. I'm going to check my front and rear leaf spring hanger bushings, and they're just not missing or damaged. From there, I'm going to check my leaf springs. The leaf springs are probably mount secure, not cracking or broken or damaged, not missing or shifted. From there, I'm going to check my U-bolts and bolts and other axle mounted hardware. Make sure it's all probably mount secure, not cracking and broken or damaged. I'm going to check for any loose, missing, or worn parts. Then I'm going to check my shock. The shock is probably mount secure and not leaking. So that's that's the suspension right there. We got front and rear leaf spring hanger, front and rear leaf spring hanger bushing. We got the leaf springs, the shock, and the axle mounted hardware. All right, now I'm going to get into the brakes. Okay, we got my brake chamber right here. I got my coupling, my airline, my push rod, which comes out of the brake chamber, and the automatic slack adjuster. So uh, since it's, if it's got air going in it, we're gonna be listening for leaks. It, so if you ever wonder about it, just go, has it got air in it? Yep, well, then we're gonna be listening for leaks. All right, my brake chamber here, it's probably mount secured, not crap been broken or damaged. I'm gonna make sure it's not dented because it's got a diaphragm that moves forward and backwards. So if it's got a dent in there, it's gonna stop that diaphragm from moving. And we're also gonna be listening for leaks. So probably mouse secure, not crabbing and broken or damaged. Uh, it's not dented and we're gonna be listening for leaks. Now we're gonna come to our airlines and coupling here. Probably mouse secure, not crabbing and broken or damaged. And the airline is not cut, chafed, spliced, worn or damaged. And we're gonna be listening for leaks. From there, I'm going to go to my push rod and my slack adjuster. They're probably mount secure, not crabbing or broken or damaged. And I'm going to check for any loose or missing parts. I'm going to make sure uh, my push rod slack adjuster is not bent or twisted. And uh, this is an automatic slack adjuster. If it were a manual slack adjuster, I would release the brakes and I'm going to pull it out with, you know, with the brakes release, I'm going to pull out my slack adjuster. Now, if I can pull this out an inch or more, that's going to let me know that my brakes are out of adjustment and they need to be adjusted. All right, from there, now my brakes. Now, look, I understand we got a dust cover over the brakes and we can't really see them, but we're going to talk about it anyway because they're testing you and not the truck. So my brake pads right here, first off, I want to make sure my brake pads uh, are not missing. They're not cracked. They're not damaged. I'm going to check that my brakes, my brake pads are not worn dangerously thin. I'm going to look inside my drum, my brake drum, and I'm going to look for contaminants such as debris, oil, grease, and I'm going to check the condition of my drum. I'm going to make sure it's probably mouth secure, not crap and broken or damaged, and I'm going to check for holes and dents. From there, I'm going to come out to my tire. And what I like to do, it's just a memory aid. You can use it or not, whatever you think. I like to put both of my hands on the tire. And I'm gonna say I'm gonna first off I'm gonna say I'm gonna check the outside and inside sidewall make sure it's properly seated to the rim uh, and I got one two three four five treads okay number one ABC's abrasions bulges and cuts I'm gonna be checking all three sides of my tire for abrasions bulges and cuts and any, possibly any fabric that might be showing through number two I'm gonna check for even tread wear I want to see a nice smooth tread I don't want to see dips and valleys number three I'm gonna check for matching radials uh, you know, I don't want any mismatched tires on this truck. If it's a 22.5 here, I want to see 22.5 all the way around. Uh, minimum, this is a front tire, so we want a minimum tread depth of uh, 430 seconds. And finally, uh, we just say 100 PSI. I know all tires, you know, this one might be 100, another one's 105, but we just say 100 PSI just to keep it simple. So we say 100 PSI, which I will use an air gauge to check that with that my valve stem and cap, which is probably mount secure, the cap is not missing, and we're gonna be listening for leaks on the valve stem itself, wherever that is. Oh, there it is right there. So we check that. All right, so I got my tire. So now I'm gonna come over here to my rim. The rim is probably mount secure, not cracked, not broken or damaged. And I'm gonna be looking for any type of welding repairs that might have been done to the rim. And now I got my, uh, my, uh, my lug nuts and bolts. I want to make sure they're not loose or missing. If a lug nut was loose, a couple indications would be uh, shiny threads or rust trails. And I'm also going to check for any cracks or distortions that's on the lug nut or the rim. Say a mechanic came in and over tightened it and uh, I could have like some kind of spider webbing here on the rim or just whatever kind of damage to the, uh, to the lug nut. So we're looking for cracks and distortions. From there I'm going to go over here to my, to my hub oil seal. I want to make sure that's not leaking. 
And I got my splash guard here, my mud flap. Make sure they're both properly mount secure, not crap been broken or damaged. The mud flap isn't uh, dragging the ground or rubbing against the tire. Uh, so that's pretty much it. That's where we stop bath from the uh, driver's side engine compartment. Uh, I suggest, you know, you always uh, double check everything that we do. You know, we've never done these videos, but hopefully it'll help you. But always double check this with your book, because this is Georgia, so it may be different in your state. So just double check with your book and uh, just trust but verify. And if you miss something on this test, if you miss something, say you're at the trailer and you go, you know, man, uh, I forgot to check my lug nuts up here and say that they're uh, not loose or missing. You can always come back until uh, until you say I'm done. You can recheck anything on the truck that you want. So just, just take your time and do the best you can. And if you have any questions, just uh, leave us a message.